thanks for watching. Today I'd like to show you guys my FN Browning trombone. This is a Belgian made Browning 22 pump, otherwise known as the trombone, manufactured by, let's see now, Fabrique Nationale Dares de Guerre Herstel Belgieu. I'm Canadian, I know French. It's a takedown rifle. See, we got our little takedown element right there. Breaks into two pieces easily for throwing in the backpack and wandering around the bush. <coughs> it was uh, designed by John M. Browning in 1919 and patented on uh, the 1st of August, 1922. Reading this right from the Wikipedia page, by the way. <clears throat> These were manufactured for a long ass time, from 1922 to 1974. Uh, this one was produced sometime in the 1960s. It has a dovetail mount up top. Uh, you don't see a lot of these in the United States, but here in Canada, they're actually fairly common and quite near and dear to many an old timer. It's fed by a tubular magazine. The Wikipedia page I'm reading from claims that it holds 11 rounds. It's actually a damn dirty lie. That tubular mag holds 12 rounds of 22 LR. Just fine if you toss an extra one in there. So yeah, this is a surprisingly accurate, fun, well-designed, well-made little rifle. I guess surprising for me because I'm young and ignorant. All the old timers will be like, well, of course it is, it's so cute. Anyway, we're starting off today with a four power scope, just a little cheap Chinese NC star. And we're just gonna take it to the range here using CCI mini mags and see what kind of accuracy we can squeeze out of it at 50 meters and 100 meters. Okay, let's start off the FN trombone with five groups of five. That was all me. Okay, next group up top. Try and do a bit better than that. It's definitely me, not the gun. <clears throat> Very thick crosshairs on this optic. The 
bullseye is completely obscured. Okay, that was better. <laughs> Got two more in there. Go for the left hand side. Load up some more. Eleven. And you have to drop the 12th one in from the top without knocking its buddy. But it does fit and it does work just fine. Whew. Okay, three more. Right hand. Try to shoot this one a bit faster. I don't know if I should even shoot this last one because my camera is right there. But that's how you get good video, shooting your camera. Oh, that's all she wrote. Not bad. That's only 50 meters. But that is only a four power optic. Shoot a couple groups, five shot groups at 100 meters with the four power optic. And then maybe we'll try something a little different. I gotta say this FN trombone is a lot of fun to shoot. Something about a pump action. Feels great in the hand. And is obviously very accurate. Very well made.
more than up to the task. Let's put a five shot group. The top right hand corner of the center sheet, 100 meters. Let's go straight into another five shot group. Lower, ah, top left hand. I think there's a mark already there, but we can just ignore that. I'm damn happy with that. With a four power optic at 100 meters, that's like what? I don't know, that's like 110 yards. Beautiful. You know, relatively speaking. This gun is very accurate. But, I think it can do even better. Let's make a change. Okay, I definitely gotta get better at that. <laughs> so, took my 3D9 by 40 Vortex Diamond back. This is one that I took off my 303. Put it on here so that we can get a little better idea of just how accurate this gun can be. Even with its horribly stiff trigger, which is something I failed to mention before. I swear to God, it's true. Now it's starting to rain. Fantastic. All right, so we're shooting at 50 meters. Got her sighted in, she's cooled off again. Shoot uh, Well, we'll shoot two, two five shot groups. So I didn't bring enough ammo, like a dum-dum. Starting in the center.
Well, that's not too hot. Shoot another group up top, see if we can do better. Well, that's not terrible. That's certainly not great either. I definitely set the optic too close to my face. And that frickin' triggers. Seems like it's getting harder almost. But those are excuses. Let's see how many of these uh, 22 shorts that this thing can hold. Let's see how it does at 50 meters. All right, let's see how many 22 short we can fit in our under barrel assault clip. Look at that. Holds 18. 18 shorts. As tactical as it got back in the day. Alright. See uh, how these things perform at 50 meters. I already got one in there. I don't know. <laughs> I already got one in the chamber. I tried to cycle it. It seemed like it didn't want to cycle. All right. Hopefully, uh, with the longer barrel, they'll perform a bit better. Maybe. Let's find out. I'll hold a little bit high. Go just for that right hand dot. Oh, what a sound. Yeah, a little rough. <laughs> I think the, the wind might actually be pushing them that little bit. They're going so slow I can see them in the scope at 50 meters. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so there's our five shot group. <laughs> On the on the right hand target. What a blast! <laughs> Let's go for the left hand target there. I dare not go for the bottom bullseye because my camera's right there, and this fucking this garbage will just annihilate it. I know it. Hold a little bit higher. go <laughs> Did 
it's actually not half bad. You know, for shorts, it's probably the... Probably the best group I've ever shot with shorts. Seems like they decided to start hitting. I don't spank too soon. Shouldn't have jinxed it. Magazine that just keeps feeding. Well, that's not bad. Those things are <laughs> fun, I guess. Let's shoot some cans. That should be alright. 